something I'm gonna share with you is, and I haven't, I'm not gonna do a taste video because I haven't done it yet, but I've really been reorganizing the drawers and cabinets to try and figure out where I put everything because the chaos monkey that I am wants to shove stuff in and I realize that I can't find things. Stuff just gets chaotic. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start organizing the cabinets a bit more um, and I'll bring you along to show you. Oh no, rascal never goes on somebody's head. That's a chicken roll. We can't have chickens if you attack them. These are some pizza pans and baguette pans, and what I'm doing is I'm soaking them with a little bit of baking soda and peroxide, kind of getting the scrub off, because I find that that helps them get a little bit clean. Save random glass bottles with lids because they're so handy. Like if we go out to the yeah. farm where I run my uh, glamping business, you know, I can fill a milk in this with a lid on, or I can put little snacks in it. And it's just like a nice reason. That's how crunchy I've become. Hey, careful! Ow! Remember, wrap the first one. Well, chicken. If I were to ever actually like design my dream kitchen, I would totally have two dishwashers because we aren't even that many people. But I bake and cook from scratch a absolute bucket ton, and we do eat an absolute bucket ton. And so that makes me just I just have a ton of like big dishes. That then take up all the space, and so I have to end up doing a ton of loads. So I totally recommend and in favor of just doing the dishes you need to. You know, it doesn't have to, it like that's a full load, but I could have like crammed in a couple plates. But then guess what? They aren't gonna get as clean, 
add. It's better to just like get this load on and get the next. What's one of my mottos now this year is, is learning that like perfect doesn't actually make it any any better. It's just like actually getting it done, I think oh, it's quite worthwhile. Yeah. Sorry, Biscuits, I kind of cut that off sharply because my brother-in-law, one of my nephews came over to drop something off that they are done playing with to let my kiddo have, which is this really fun little indoor slide. How adorable is that? So I'm taking this moment because they're playing in here to organize, oh sorry Biscuits, my screen has disappeared and I don't know why. In the room, a repairs room. Um, no, it's so, it's so hot, I have the fan on. If you can't hear me, that's why the fan is on. Um, but I'm trying to get their rooms together. As like actual spaces, as before we just moved here, threw some old beds in, and <laughs> didn't really do anything. Um, so now I'm trying to get it a little bit more organized. We painted this here. I'll come show you this. Yes, we painted this free um, dresser that I got. I love upcycling, so I painted this a really pale pink on the exterior, and then all the drawers. They Hey, don't make her scream. They don't have their um, little knobs on yet. Yeah, I'll get you that. Are you having great fun? Look at you. Can you go down the slide? Whoa, this is going to be so much fun. I think we're going to spray paint this. I don't know that I have enough spray paint. I know, we have to spray paint it something glossy. This is like, my nephews each played with it, and then they got it from somebody else, who maybe got it from somebody else. So like, we're, we're the third, fourth, fifth person to play with it, and I think we made it there. Did, but, but it's awesome, yeah. Okay, I won't do anything. You just play. <laughs> so I'm just going to organize a wee bit. Hey, monkey. How are you? Yeah. I am looking. Oh, these are little play kitchen spoons. So gosh darn messy. Do you biscuits recognize this? This is like my first DIY project. Abraham was younger than her. Hey, Abraham, sweetie. That doesn't support you. This is for little people. You're gonna bend it out of shape. So be really careful on it, okay? Because it's something that she's having fun with. The blood is younger. Here, I found a remote control for your little car. Boom, 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 boom. Abraham, do not keep making her scream. Get up, get out of the situation, let her play with the new toy. Although she's almost done with diapers, which is just shocking, but 
almost almost ready. I did not paint the sides here because it makes it really Yeah. Yes, I see that. Thank you. You know, mommy's not a big fan of when you scream too much, okay? I know, I know you love to scream. I think this goes in the fun dress up box for when we do our dress up parties. Best stuff. Love dress up parties. Okay. Let me make sure that's going to say you have somewhere in here. The half broken toys we never actually put together. why my camera is being funky i hope that recorded i have no idea if all that stuff recorded that i just filmed <laughs> organized cw i guess no big no big deal if it didn't but still um oh my goodness so much 
uh, so much cleaning and organizing. I was gonna do a bunch of emails and admin work and some stuff for Patreon today. <laughs> and today ended up being like a home tidy. It's just so hot. Um, it is just like a heat wave, really unusual heat wave. And I have never regretted moving into a house without air conditioning more because like the inside of my house just hasn't dropped below, I don't know, 75. I have fans on, I leave the windows open at night and close them during the day. It is miserably hot inside. Like last night I was up until 2 a.m. because I just could not sleep. I'm covered in sweat right now. I have the fan on in there that I'm sure you heard. Um, <laughs> it's so hot. Oh my goodness. If, if this were like a forever home that I plan to live in for more than a short while, I would, I like, I, in fact, I scratch that. I just regret not taking my brother's lawn advice and getting a window unit of AC. Um, I just didn't want to have to figure out how to install it and do it wrong and somehow dink up the window. You know, it's a whole, whole process. <laughs> so, but woo, I, it's so hot that I'm actually giving consideration to like going to get in a hotel room or something um, for a couple days because it is just unbearably toasty. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. <laughs> there, you've come to my pity top because it's so hot that even my hair is just like fluffed along. Okay, biscuits, I have to go get some chicken supplies and um, do I need to? No, but do I want to get some Trader Joe's dark chocolate peanut butter cups? Yes, I swear to God, that's what I've been living off of. In the seat wave is cold milk and chocolate peanut butter cups. I mean, I make myself eat vegetables and stuff too, but like what I want to eat is just like two peanut butter cups and some ice cold milk and then lay by a fan. <laughs> this is so hot. <laughs> I had this whole um, filming scheduled for one of my romance novel episodes, my short films for that, and it had we had a location down. It was great. It was going to be outdoors and gorgeous, and I finally made the call that it was just hazardous for us to be working out in the heat. Um, trying to film lots of stuff and do costume changes and do fun stuff and it was like it was just too hot um and I had I had to like I had to cancel it and I go like you know what N when it cools down I will reschedule it but it was one of those things <laughs> I was like nope uh-oh hey biscuits do you want to do some more like fun primal inner being self-care where we really dive into how playful and fun it is to nurture ourselves and to care for ourselves and to kind of listen to that inner voice, that soul wisdom that teaches us a little bit about primal self-care and the essence of what allows us to be happy so that then we can spread that happiness to our whole families, right? I, I feel like happiness is so such a contagious thing. Like, if the mama of the home, if the homemaker is happy, that just spreads to the home. I really, I really truly believe that. So you can check out our Patreon page. I love saying hi on there. We have all different tiers for different interests and I'm working on updating what the tiers descri descriptions are because I feel like they're kind of from last year and I would say if you're really into homemaking topics probably the $40 a month tier is like a great place to be to just play and get frisky and find fun and magic in the mundane of homemaking and like actually enjoy it and then there's a BFF tier that is awesome for like all your physical self-care, emotional well-being. It is. We deep dive every month into fun content. And then guess what? You get my whole back catalog to watch while you're on there for Patreon. So it's so fun. I'll have people send me a DM on there or they will message me on there. And I'll be like, oh, you know, oh, this, move, this episode that you wrote or this self-care topic that you wrote that's like two years old. It really, it touched me. Like it really flipped the switch and made me think okay, this is the self-care that I'm doing. And if you really want to learn about deep diving into naturalism and embracing that higher spiritual self of just being okay with your body and at peace with your physical form, then I would say the best biscuits tier is like the best tier you can have on there for a really big shift in how you view your body, your mind, and that connection to tending to ourselves and self-care. Okay, Para and I say, woo, we have more cleaning to do. It is so hot. I am completely unmotivated and even my nephew and brother-in-law were like, oh, see you, we dropped off this stuff, we're gonna go back to our conditioning <laughs> because it's so hot when they walked into my house. Yes, my love, too hot. I'm, I'm actually considering, I've never done this before, no. um, but I'm actually considering yeah. booking a hotel somewhere and just spending the night so yes. we can get a decent night's sleep in air conditioning. 
At the very least, we're gonna go wander around Trader Joe's and hope it has air conditioning. Oh yeah, you got a boo boo. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's a bug bite boo boo. It's from our camping trip. We did a little short over the glamping trip. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get any bug bites from there, so I'm surprised you got any. Normally they eat me alive. Alrighty, biscuits. I'm gonna see you in the next video. I love you, biscuit. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry you got ouchies from bugs. I don't like when the bugs go. Oh, we don't like bug bites. We aren't a fan. But yeah. we love you, Biscuits. And thank you so much for subscribing. Loving all the videos here. Always hitting the like yeah. button. I really appreciate the support as I yeah. kind of boot up this new channel. Yeah. It's taken a lot of bravery yeah. to boot up this yeah. new channel because, you know, yeah. I have two established YouTube channels. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. it took me a long time to grow yeah. those. But I really yeah. made the decision that I wanted to kind of shift a little bit of what my second channel was about and that it just wasn't a natural flow to to keep that channel full time and then I really wanted to switch it over to more of this content and kind of get back to a little bit of homemaking and motherhood and not not just cleaning but organizing and homemaking and those skills that I'm so passionate about and that are such a big part of my life and I got away from speaking about because, you know, I used to be in the like motherhood vlogging community and it was just so competitive and mean and people were nasty. Yeah. That I just wanted to switch it up and get to a place where I really felt happy. And so, yes. Yeah, hi my love. And, but I miss sharing this content because it is like 80% of my life is homemaking life, right? Homemaking content. And it felt so silly to like let trolls and stuff take that joy away from me. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a new channel, I'm gonna create a new community, and I appreciate all the biscuits that came over and all the new biscuits. In fact, tell me down in the comments, are you an original biscuit? Have you been here since my other YouTube channels? Or are you brand new and just going, oh, Hugo Homemaker, let's get homemaking fabulous again. I wanna know, tell me in the comments. <laughs>